Welcome to Sora Assist, assisting you in your Sora journey. Today I'm going to be highlighting some Japanese budget players ready for the upcoming season that starts at the end of February. That is of course the J League season. Before we get into it, welcome all Sora managers. As usual, please smash that like button, subscribe to the channel and tap that notification bell to be alerted about any new videos. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Reddit and for more free Sora content, please check out SoraAssist.com. Links in the description. If you're not signed up to Sora yet, then sign up using the link below to get a free limited card. As I say, I'm going to be highlighting some J-League budget options today. The new season starts at the end of February, so these are going to give you plenty of options to be getting on with that you can potentially purchase for your teams or add to your shortlist. As always with these selections, please remember to do your own research and this is not financial advice. Another thing to note as well is that the information on Japanese players is very scarce so it's very hard to find information on contracts and that sort of thing. So that is something that you guys would need to research for these players selected today. So I'm going to be highlighting goalkeepers and defenders in this video. This is going to be a three part series. Next episode I'm going to be highlighting more defenders and midfielders and then in the final video I'll be highlighting some midfielders and forwards. So make sure you do subscribe to the channel so you get all these videos and ping the notification bell so you get notified as soon as these videos are released. Okay let's get stuck into the first player then and that is Mazak Higashiguchi of Gamba Asaka. Although this player is a little bit older, he's had a fantastic season for Gamba Asaka in the previous J League season. And it does look like he's going to be staying at the club because their young hot prospect, Tani, is actually staying at Shonen for another year on loan. So I would suspect Higachiguchi is staying at Gamba Asaka and being the number one for them. If we look at his form last season, he started 38 games and is also having 3.4 save per game which is 72% of shots saved, which is absolutely fantastic. Consistent starting for Gamba Osaka, a little bit older and obviously there's a worry about his potentially staying at the club but I think with Tani going on loan again for another year and the season that Hijikashiguchi has had, I would expect he would be the first team player. So price wise, you can get this goalkeeper, his limited card is going for around £66.24 and his rare card is going for around 582 Now this is a player that I've actually picked up for the limited because I did need an Asian keeper for my squads so this is one that I've personally picked up. If we look at his scores, he's got some fantastic scores here for a goalkeeper so it's definitely one to consider. Do a little bit of research on whether he's staying at Gamba Osaka, but from what I've heard, he will be staying at the club another season at least. Another good option is Sung Rayong Jung of Kawasaki Fontal. Another one that I've heard that he will be staying at the club because he's a fantastic player for Kawasaki Fontal. Just turned 37 at the time of recording. He played 33 games for Kawasaki Fontal last season. He made 1.9 saves, which is 74% of the shots saved against him, which again is a fantastic ratio. He's been at the club many seasons now, as you can see here, since 2016, and he's been a first choice goalkeeper for them. Although he's 37 now, goalkeepers could obviously have a longer career, and from what I've heard, this guy is due to stay at Kawasaki Fontal. There's another one that I've picked up. So if we look at his scores, <laughs> some fantastic scores here for a goalkeeper look. Some absolutely brilliant scores. Beats some outfield players these scores. So definitely one to consider if you're after a quality keeper at a top side in J League. Because obviously Kawasaki are the current champions as well. So his limited card you can get for around £89 and his rare is going for around 841 on to defenders now, the first player I've gone for is Daiki Sugiokia of Shonen Belmare. Now I believe he has gone on loan to Shonen Belmare for another season because uh, it looks like his contract is until 2023. Although it's shown that he's going to Gamba Osaka here, I believe that he's going on loan to Shonen Belmare for another season. So do check out that just to see if that is the case. So last season for Shonen, he was on loan and he started 13 games. He had one goal. And he also created two big chances as well, which was fantastic. 
His pass numbers look good, 28.9, 70% of accuracy. His interceptions and tackles that look, look fantastic as well, at 1.6 and 1.7. His total duels won also looks good as well, at 5.2 total duels won per game. This guy is definitely a good prospect in Japan. He's also featured internationally for the Japanese team as well at youth level. So he has got a lot of experience, this defender. And let's see if he can get some more minutes at Jordan Belmer. Because as you can see here, he's not played every single game, but when he does play in, he's getting some good scores. Now in terms of his price on the so rare, his it says here his limited was £55. Now there has no been no releases of the cards recently because obviously he's gone to a different team. So there's not minting any new cards at the moment. His rare card though you can get for around 33 on the secondary market possibly if someone is willing to sell at that price. Another good option is Gen Shoji of Gamba Osaka. 29 year old, plays a centre back for Gamba Osaka. He started 26 games. He's also created two big chances and he's averaging 44 accurate passes per game at 82% accuracy. And now, while he was in the side, Gambro Saka kept 10 clean sheets in those 26 starts, which is fantastic. His interceptions per game looks very good, 2.2, and his tackle per game also looks impressive at 1.7. And his ground jewels also looks fantastic at 5.3, total ground jewels won per game. Look at his scores then on Sir Rare, as you can see some very good scores, this is probably down to his interceptions and clean sheets. And look at his price, you can get his limited for around £7.56 and his Rare for around £129. These prices do look a budget price to me. Now his defensive partner is Genta Mura, so he could potentially have a, a Gambrosaka stack there with these two defenders. Plus the Gambrosaka goalkeeper that I highlighted at the start of this video. Gentamora is 26, so slightly younger than his defensive partner. He played 25 starts. He had 25 starts last season. And he also had 47 accurate passes per game with 85% accuracy. His interceptions looks absolutely fantastic at 3.1 interceptions per game. And Gambrosaka kept 11 clean sheets in the 25 starts that Mora started. And his total duels won also looks fantastic per game at 5.4. Like his defensive partner, he's got some fantastic scores on so rare. Some probable high, little higher numbers than his defensive partner. But he's also got some very high numbers, probably down to the number of interceptions he does and the clean sheets that Gambrosaka keep. In terms of his price, you're looking at around £9.43 for his limited and 156 for his rare card. Another option is more of a punt this guy because he didn't only start 7 games last season for Seresta Saka is Ryuzuku Shindo. 25 year old defender on the right side of the defence. Now when he does play he is showing some impressive numbers as highlighted here. So he played 90 minutes in this game and he actually scored in this match. He had 2 tackles, he had 2 ground duels 1 out of 3 and 2 aerial duels 1 out of 3 as well. Pass numbers look good, he also had a key pass in this game and has shown plenty of goal threat. One shot on target, two shots off. This game he played 90 minutes again, he had four interceptions in this game, he had three aerial duels won out of three. He also had 30 accurate passes in this game, it's 86% accuracy. And he also had one key pass and five long balls successful out of seven. Now he's actually scored two goals last season in the nine appearances he had, seven of them starts. So as I should say, he is showing plenty of goal for it. Now if he can cement a bit more of a first team starting spot in the Seresta Saka defence, then this price is going to look very cheap. He's available at £1.40 on the limited and £48 on the rare. So looking at his scores, as you can see he's got some good scores when he is playing. Like I say, he doesn't play every single game, so it's more of a punt this one. And hopefully he can get more minutes next season. But if he can, then these prices, like I say, do look cheap. And if not, you're not really going to lose that much in terms of the limited card at £1.40. Another decent option who um, didn't get many minutes last season, but I think that was due to an injury, is Hatako Nakamura of FC Tokyo. Only 24, plays on the right side of defence, but can play on the left as well. He only has started 6 games last season, like I say, I think that was due to injury. Well, if you look here, there was a period between March and November where he didn't play. So that was due, from what I can see, 
is due to an injury. Obviously, do your own research on that. There's not much information in terms of the Japanese um, J League online. So do your own research. And he has got a contract with FC Tokyo to 2023 as well. But if we have a look when he was playing, so last season, in, in the 2020 season, he did actually start 19 games. So when he was fit, he was playing plenty of minutes. Now if we look at some of his stats on the games where he did play, so 71 minutes played here, he had one inception, four tackles, and also won six ground duels out of seven. He's also shown some good key pass numbers as well, and two accurate crosses out of two. This game against Shonan, he played 90 minutes, he also got an assist, had two interceptions, two ground duels, one out of two, and four aerial duels, one out of four. So in terms of the duels, he's winning plenty of duels. He also had 41 accurate passes out of 48, which is 85% accuracy, and again, showed a key pass in this game. In this match, he played 90 minutes again and had fantastic three interceptions and three tackles. And again, his ground duels and aerial duels were very successful. Five successful out of six and one successful out of one in the aerial duel. Again, he's got a key pass in this game as well. So it does look like he's a very creative player on this right back role. Getting plenty of crosses in, plenty of key passes. But he's also getting interceptions, tackles and winning plenty of duels as well. So it does look a very good prospect if he can come back from his injury and get some minutes at FC Tokyo. So look at his price, you can get his limited for around £1.54 and his rare for around £31. And he is eligible for the under 23 division as well until July 2022. So look at his scores, as I say I think this is a period where he was injured, he did come back briefly towards the end of last season. But as, as you can see here, He's got some really good scores when he was fit and getting some minutes for FC Tokyo. So definitely worth considering at these prices if you can't get back into the first team. So that was all the selections for this week in part one of my J League budget scouting video. There will be part two and part three on the way. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. And ping that notification bell to be alerted when the new videos are released. If you like this video then please smash that like button. And as I say, subscribe to the channel and ping that notification bell. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook and Reddit. And for more free Soro content, please check out SoroAssist.com. Links in the description. If you're thinking of buying any of these players or adding them to your shortlist, do let me know in the comments section below. And if you've not signed up to Soro yet, then sign up using the link below to get a free limited card when you buy your first five cards. Okay, thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.